Yes. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time that you're watching this video. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Only Mawira. And in case it's your first time to come across my channel, kindly uh, consider subscribing. Yeah. <laughs> I know you didn't expect that one. Coming live from our home, our home farm. Uh, behind me first of all I hope you're doing good I hope you're doing good and you're staying safe coming live from our farm that's now our, our shamba our land uh, my aunt is though I hope I'm clear on that one it's not my farm and behind me is, is a beautiful sunflower huh? beautiful sunflowers as you can see Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Some beautiful sunflowers over here. Yeah, we intercropped the bananas uh, with the sunflowers. Uh, here are some more maize from this side. So we intercropped the bananas with the with the sunflowers. As in this one, we didn't plant them for commercial purpose. This was just for, like, <coughs> instead of us feeding all of them to chicken, we just decided to just come and throw some here. And by good luck, they have germinated and they have grown. So we, they are almost ready. So I hope you're doing good. And in case it's your first time to come across this channel, kindly consider subscribing liking the video and commenting so today guys as you can see from the title of the video uh, I have decided to show you to plug you in on how uh, I prepared uh, the land to plant some kales or we call them sukumawikis here in Kenya in Africa that's how we call them I don't know in your language how you call them but for us here in Kenya we call them sukumawiki that is in Swahili language in Kikuyu we call them madaro and some other community languages, I don't know how they call them. I don't know, maybe you will tell me on the comment section. Uh, but before that one, I just decided to plug in these beautiful sunflowers. The setup, the the colors, they're just amazing. But they are my lover of colors, so... I just thought of plugging you with them. Yeah. And that's why I decided to come and do my intro from this side. Oh. So here is a, is a broken pipe that need to be fixed. They are awesome. So guys, like, you can see here, here there are some potatoes which were planted over here. But they were harvested by my aunt. She harvested the potatoes. Now that's why you can see like the chamber is kind of... Uh, not not clean i just just love the sunflowers actually someone is harvesting some nectars over here you see that bee it's harvesting harvesting some nectars yeah wow looks awesome I don't know if there's something somewhere else you can see it. Yeah. We are harvesting the nectar. And here we have some corn. They are grown. They have grown, grown. Mm -hmm. Like I know from my previous videos, like you have seen me complain about the monkeys eating maize. It's not from this this shamba or not from this farm. It's from the other one that uh, that is. Let me say I don't know the one that I have list. Yeah, it's from that space, not this one. Uh, from here, from this side, the maize are doing fine. No man case, no nothing. They're just safe. And then up here we have some popo. Jesus Christ, we have some popo. I almost fell here. <laughs> we have some purpose. They have not yet 
ripen and then here we have some lingwarts a lungwort I don't know how you call them I guess the correct word is lungwarts yeah they're just flowering they're flowering yeah. yeah so guys this is now our <coughs> excuse this is our this is our farm this is our farm so the other day you saw me out here i was with my Maasai friend we were clearing this space and then we cleared the space now you see it's super super clean so what's happening right now i'd already started this one i'd already done some few demos here and there to show you how it's done so uh I decided to dig these big, big, big spaces so that when I bring the cutting, let me show you. For example, I'll come and pluck this one from here. And I come, I plant it like that. And then it's gonna germinate some roots from here. The roots will just start germinating. And then it will grow tall. And the more it grows tall, the more it has the leaves. And one thing, the advantages of planting these scales or skuma wikis, they are, they are non-acidic actually. They are very good when you eat them, they are non-acidic, like you don't have to get some heartburn or some, something of the sort. And then they are long lasting. These plant, the, all these cuttings, they have been here for the last two years. And you still, they are still producing. And like the other one that you plant, and like this one. This one we just planted even you ha you didn't even harvest. No, not that one. Where is it? Oh, and like this one. We didn't even harvest. Now you see how they look. They're already sick. They're already done. You know? So we just decided like we're going to, uh, to uproot them so that we can replace them with these ones. So I am going to show you how I, how I, how we do it and so that you may have an experience of an African kind of uh, work, how we do it manually actually because most of African land is just done manually. So let me show you something else. The ant the ant are eating the tree. Huh? The tree is just being harvested by the ant. The ant are just doing it. But they know here. But I'm sure some other time. Oh, they are here. Huh? They are here. This is a sign of this cold season is almost approaching. That's a sign of uh, cold season. Uh, season is coming. So, guys, I'm going to show you how we do it. Okay. Remember, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to the channel. Okay. See you and let me show you how we do it. Okay. Yeah guys, I was setting up the camera and I hope you can see me well. So as usual, I have my cap on. <laughs> I have my long t-shirt. I have my trouser and my gum boots on. So I am going to start like to show you how I do it. Let me come. With me, I have a fork, fork jembe. So, I am going to dig, uh, I'm going to prepare and see how, like, how the energy, how you use the energy, like, how everything is done manually. And then, okay, let me just do it. Guys, remember to subscribe.
Tiro. Tiro. Una falla. So guys, generally, that's how I will be doing for the next few minutes. I don't know how, will, how long it's gonna take, but that's how I'm gonna be doing it. And uh, uh, let me show you my hands. That's how my hands looks like. Simply because I have to use this one. <laughs> so if I happen, if you happen to know me, or if you happen to need to meet each other, we greet in case my hands leave some grips on you don't worry you know the reason is because i've been working so i just felt i just feel like someone who has already <coughs> wept like i've i'm sweating already inside so i don't want to keep you here for long i will show you after i'm done okay So guys, these are some other potatoes which are being harvested and here we have some samples. I hope you can see them clearly. See? These are some potatoes and this, remember this is just natural. 
organic direct from Africa So my people after a few minutes like about a half an hour I've uh, been able to complete digging of the holes as you can see that's how we look I've been able to dig this is a tomato by the way I have been able to dig all that space so the remaining bit is for me to come and cut have harvest the cuttings and then plant them let me come let me show you So with me is a panga here, panga, I don't know how you call it in your, in your language, in our language you call it faga, or in Swahili language you call it panga. So I am going to have to have some cuttings of the kills. So this is how you do it guys. Some of them you can even cut them by your hands. So what you can do sometimes, if you find like the leaves are so big, you can first of all harvest them. For example, I have someone who wants some kale, so I will have to harvest first some, so that I can do de delivery. It's like this one. You see like this one huh? has so many cuttings like this one one two three uh, four that one is bad four five so this was this one is also a cutting by itself you can plant it and it will germinate so here are some leaves some roots I mean you see we have some roots over here so the moment this one comes into contact with the soil and then at least you give it some water it will start just germinating and it will uh, eventually grow and then it will be a very very big sukumawiki so I don't know if you like this technology I don't know how this uh, plant was improved to this technology but it's a good one I can highly recommend you try this one. So in case you start you think you are thinking of planting some scales, please consider planting this one. You'll not regret. So these leaves are so many. I'll have to have some. I have a, a rabbit. My sister has a rabbit, so we'll have to feed them with these leaves. Eh? And also there's a small goat in our home, so we'll have to give it some some. So I hope guy like it. I hope like you enjoying the video so far. And in case you haven't subscribed, please don't just watch and leave without subscribing. That's the only sub support you can give me. Okay? Yeah, let's continue. <coughs>
So as you can see, all these are kills. These are leaves. Uh, I can, I can, I can, like we can eat them. This one, they are good. You just need to go and clean them. Uh, you clean them, then you cut, you chop them, then you cook, and then you eat your delicious ugali or anything that you can eat using these veggies. So, these ones are, they are I, I'll take them home for domestic, for domestic purposes. So, right now, I guess the cutting is ready to be harvested. Let's go! So guys, finally we have the cutting. So I am kneeling down because my camera is 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 on this level, and I'm all I want is for you guys to see me clearly. So I am now going to to plant them. I don't wanna keep you for waiting for long, but there's no formula of planting this stuff. You only need to let me show you. You only need to come and you, you plug it with the soil, just like that. Dip it in the soil only. Just like that. And then you leave it. You water them. And then you, you wait for them to grow and germinate. So, and the reason some of you will ask why I had to dig so many. So, <laughs> my bad, excuse me. <coughs> so, some of you will ask yourself why I dug so, I dug some very big holes. The reason why I dug them uh, is because. Uh, we are in the month of June in our country and soon we are going to approach 
July. July is the coldest month in our country, according to to how weather is set up in this country. Like, according to to how like every 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 kind of every season, July is the coldest month. So, so I opted to dig these big holes so that I intercrop these uh, kills with maize. Maize is a common crop, and you can use it. You can. You can plant it for your own purpose use and then or you can just uh, have it for selling so but for me i just felt like it is good i intercrop it with the with, with this one so that before this germinates before they germinate the maize will be ready by august so my purpose i'm focusing on harvesting this uh, skumas in august in august it's always dry in this country and people will be looking for green stuff and especially those who work in the market those who sell vegetables they will need some uh, some greens to sell so that's my target as lo as much as maybe i'll not be here in, during that month my aunt will do the necessary as much like i'm not expecting myself to be around uh, during august but it's only like i, d I, I don't want to be idle i just want to keep moving i want to be to be moving Maybe sometimes I'll be moving just to create content for you guys or sometimes I'll be doing it for job like I'll be away because of job purposes but right now we are doing what we are supposed to do right now so I am going to plant them so that during August we can have something to sell something to eat you know so by that time the maize will also, also, also be available some here you can just you can roast a maize <laughs> you can cook some Mokimo, that's an African meal. You can eat some githeri. Githeri is a mixture of beans and maize, then cooked together. It's an awesome meal. In case you are outside Africa, inside outside Kenya, and you come to Kenya, please go in and you happen to pop in a restaurant. Just ask someone to give you mokimo and or uh, or githeri, and then accompany that meal with avocado. <laughs> You'll come back and thank me later. Okay. So guys, I don't want to keep you for uh, waiting for long. Um, I, I have shown you there's there, there's no process of planting. You just need to dip in the to be dip it in the soil, then you leave it. So I am going to plant them, and then I'll show you after I'm done. So guys, I love you. So let's uh, meet each other after I'm done planting. Okay.
So guys, after a few minutes, uh, I have been able to accomplish the planting. Let me show you the, the, the results. So, that's it. Some of them look as if they have already started growing. Sabbath is making me stare. So, a job well done. So, the only thing remaining is watering them. Tomorrow, tomorrow there will be water. So, I'll just come and water them. Uh, so that's it guys from me today. Like I hope you've enjoyed the video. And I hope you've enjoyed that at least you have learned something. I don't know the type of this uh, kale because it was planted a long time ago. I'll do the research and know the name of this plant, uh, like the, the type of these kills. And I'll let you know. So guys, from me to you, thank you for watching. Thank you for even sticking by. Thank you for subscribing. And in case you haven't subscribed kindly, remember to subscribe. I'll appreciate. Thank you for the support. Every day that we drop a video and you watch, I appreciate. Thank you. And I love you guys. See you in the next one. Adios and stay safe.